In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use AutoCAD Civil 3D to help you grade your roads and some of your lots. Now, this is a part two. Earlier video, I showed you how to create an existing surface from points that we received from the surveyor. And then I started messing around to create our own proposed surface. But in this video, we're going to tidy up that proposed surface. And I'm going to show you some fun features with feature lines that you can do and show you how I would think about grading this road and this series of lots. But I'm ready to dive into it, so let's get to it. All right, so here we have our original design based on the last video, and I'm going to shift my focus over to the entrance. So what I can't stress enough when you're designing any sort of residential neighborhood or any commercial site is you definitely have to think about how you're going to tie in to your existing roadway. So I'm going to zoom in to this existing roadway. And one cool thing that we can do, if you guys remember, we do have an existing surface in here. If you don't know how to get to that, that's in the tool space. I'm going to go down here to surfaces. As you can see, we have an existing grade surface in here and final grade surface. What I want to do is I want to create a feature line to snap right onto the existing grade of this existing road because I know that I need to be able to tie in to those grades. So let me kind of show you how I would go about this. So here, this line, the cyan line is representative as the edge of pavement grade. So I need this edge of pavement grade to tie in directly to that road. Now, notice how all this is kind of connected. I'm going to do a break command here, type in break. I want to break up this line, but I don't want to break it right there. I'm going to type in F for first point and it'll ask me where I want to break it. I want to break it right at that intersection right there and then I'm just going to click that point again and then notice how you know it broke it off of that line I'm just going to repeat the command and do it for the same thing over here I'm going to do first point and I'm just going to kind of do some double clicks there now I have that line you could have done it many different ways I like the break command so let me show you a cool thing about feature lines so first we need to create a feature line from this edge of pavement grade what we can do is we can select that line I'm gonna go up to the feature line home tab and do create feature line from objects. If you watched the last video, you'll remember that we're on site one and I don't really mind tracing the existing entities. I'm gonna go ahead and press okay. So here we've just made a feature line and I know I had a comment uh, on one of my past videos how my screen might be too dark so you might not be able to see that dark blue line. I'm going to show you a tip on how to change your background. So if you type in options in the options uh, in the dialog there, I'm going to go to options. I'm going to go up to a tab up here called drafting and I'm going to go over here to colors. I'm going to go ahead and select that and right now my context is the 2D model space. I want to go to my interface element of the uniform background and I'm going to go ahead and select a different color for the background just so you guys can see it. I might select maybe this gray one and hopefully that'll be a little bit better on your eyes. So hopefully you're able to see this a little bit better. I wanted to show you guys how to do that. All right. Again, I made this feature line here. Uh, that's going to be our edge of pavement which is our road connection here. And one really interesting thing that you can do with feature lines is you can match a feature line with grades of a surface that you already have. So in this case, I have an existing grade surface and instead of manually going in here and changing all of these points, there's a nifty tool up here, gotta find it. You go up to this home tab and you can do elevations from surface. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and it's gonna ask me what elevations do I wanna pull from. Well, since I know I'm tying to the existing grade surface, I'm gonna go ahead and click the existing grade surface, press okay. I have to go and select that feature line and then look what it did. So you know if it worked, if you see all these little uh, green circles and uh, triangles there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to this elevation editor just to see what it did. And it did in fact pull that existing grade. Now I'm noticing one thing here. It looks like there's a elevation of zero. So there might be a little little bust here. Let's uh, let's zoom in to, to what's going on. And this might just mean that the edge of pavement isn't perfectly on the on the grade there. I'm hovering over using the elevation editor. Yeah, it looks like there's a point here that didn't didn't quite pull. Here's one thing that we can do. I'm hovering over this point, I see zero. I mean, here's one way that, you know, we can fix this and there's multiple different ways. I'm going to do a little, I'm going to do a little spot label. I'm going to go to ex existing grade surface, do a little spot label right there. Whoa, came in kind of big, but 3663. 
And I'm just gonna go ahead and set this feature line. I'm gonna click it, do the quick elevation edit, and do 36, what is it, 63, perfect. Now when I hover over this guy, 36, 63, everything is matching. I wanted to show you something. So after you set all of these center line grades, I wanna show you a nifty command that you can use to create an offset feature line. So let's say that you've you know set all of these lines, which we did in the, the very last video. I'm gonna go ahead and offset this line north and south to then set our edge of pavement grades. So how you can do that is you can go up here to this home tab and you can do a stepped offset. So a stepped offset, it's gonna ask you if you things down here, specify offset distance. I know that these lanes are 10 feet wide. So I'm going to go ahead and type 10. Then it's going to specify side to offset. Well, if I'm going to show you how to grade some of these lots and create feature lines out of these uh, lot lines, I'm going to go ahead and press below the center line. And then now it's going to ask to specify grade or slope. I'm gonna keep it to grade, and I'm going to spec two for the the grade, and that'll actually represent a 2% slope. Now it looked like it, it had created this other feature line here. I'm gonna go hover over to this quick elevation editor. This is just a really appropriate way to look at all the different elevations. So in that last video, we placed that elevation at 20. Now what I would expect on this edge of pavement grade is for it to be 20.2. The reason why I would expect it to be that is because I basically told the program to do an offset of 10 feet at 2%. So 10 times 2% is an increase of 0.2. This will be an inverted crown road, which means that it's shaped like this. The high points will be on the outside and it'll all slope to the center line. So let's hover over this point and see if it's right. And nailed it. It is directly at 20.2. So in, again, instead of manually doing all of these grades, you could easily set that feature line of the center line, do a stepped offset, and now I have grades at each of these lot corners. All right, let's go ahead and create feature lines. I'm gonna select all of these lines here. We're gonna go and create feature lines up here in this home tab, create feature lines from objects. I'm gonna keep it all on site one. I don't care about the existing entities. I will go ahead and and leave them all behind. So what we should be able to do here now is see that they have, you know, the, one of the high points right in the middle. Let's actually check out this first lot. I'm gonna select this quick elevation editor and see how it already has a grade of the 20.2. So that's already one special thing about feature lines is it recognizes that feature line that we already made. So it's able to snap to it and it reads the grade there. Now, if I wanted to grade these side yard swales, I can just use this little grade elevation editor right here, select how much grade differential I wanna go up, which is 1%, and then it, it goes and it sets that grade. Then if I wanted to go back down 1%, I'm gonna do negative one, and let's see if that checks out. So yeah, I went from 20.2, 20.76, and then 20.27. And then you can double check all of these different grades, and I'm showing that I'm grading at 1%. Now what I've noticed is that some of these aren't picking up on each of these individual lots. So what you may have to do here is we can go ahead and just insert PIs at each of these lots. So I just wanna make sure that there's PVIs all throughout here. That way it's just easier to grade the lots. I'm gonna ahead and click through all of these. It's recognizing what the elevations are, are based on the offset that we did. So a few extra steps, but again, the, the beauty of this is if you set it up right the first time, you're able to streamline all of the different grading. So I'm just, I'm really able to go through all of these and just start doing 1% down and then negative 1%. And then negative 1, and then negative 1%, and then negative 1, 1%. So let's check out some of these grades that we did. So we got 20.2, yeah. And just as a tip, like make sure you watch where that arrow goes, because right now it means that I'm going to go that way 1%, like a positive 1%. So then when I hover back over, I need I'm, I want to go that way. I want to go south, but I'm going to go negative one. That's a, that's really important when we do this. And I'm just going to do this for all of these different lots. All right, so I've added all of those elevations, and maybe I missed something, but I guess we'll figure it out once we add these as break lines. 
And all that means is adding as break lines is we're just, we're defining what the surface represents. And you can define it via break lines, contours, and different point groups. In that first video, I showed you how to define an existing surface with points. And then I also showed you how to use some polylines to add contours to the surface. Now I'm showing you how to add all of these as break lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click break lines and maybe I give it a nice name called lots. I'm gonna add it and then this is exactly what I su suspected. Obviously we have some sort of funkiness going on in here. Let me start hovering over and if you remember from the last video, that just means that we have some sort of bust of a zero elevation grade. So let's find the elevation and it looks like it's actually coming right from there. So you can go to your quick elevation edit tool. You can kind of see what the heck is, is going on here. For some reason we have a 0.53 here. Do we have any else? Do we have any others? Okay, we have another zero right there too. How would I go about solving that? First, I wanna make sure we know exactly what our center line is doing. So this center line at this point is 21.11. Let's figure out where the next PVI is. So here's the next one, 21.26. So this is actually a low point. So what I could do is just do an easy calculation and add 0.2 to this 21.11 because again, I know it's an inverted crown and I'm gonna grade 2% from this point up to this point. So let me just go ahead and do it. That should take care of that guy, which it did. Now let's find the other bust. Well, we don't have a PVI right there, so we need to know how to set this grade. Well, I think one way that I would do this is since this road is staying at a consistent grade from that low point up to this high point, what we can just do is understand what that grade is or what the slope is, and then just apply it from this known point up to this point. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let us let me use this quick elevation editor. So this is going up to this high point at 0.5%. So here's one thing that I can do. If I know that this is 20.95, I can technically do this grade up at 0.5. Now I can technically go up and now we, because again, this road grade's 0.5, which should be matching this edge of pavement grade. So we've cleared that issue out. And now I'm gonna go to the side yard because there's an awkward thing going on here where an elevation's at one. So I'm gonna slope from that point to the mid lot at 1%. And then then I'm gonna slope it down, negative one. And then now this is all making way more sense. What I did here is I made this a type A lot, which I just, what all that means is I'm draining from this point all the way down to the edge of pavement grade. So that's why you see, you know, a little bit of steepness here. Okay, yeah, this actually is wrong. Let, let's fix it so it shouldn't look like that. For some reason, we're sloping at 19%, so that's not right. I wanna slope from this backyard 1.2% to this front. So another way to do that is I can go up there and do 1.2. Now, now we're talking. Yeah, we shouldn't really see much steepness in these lots. So this is exactly how I would expect contours to look in this situation. You know, what's going on here is there's a a break point right in the middle and water wants to flow from each of these contours, right? So if I was a flow of water, I'm going to do a little polyline here. I would travel something like this. Water's going to hit, go into here, go to that center line, and then go to that low point. Same thing for all the way over here, just showing you if you were a flow path of water. If you were to hit anywhere, let's say right in this midpoint, you would float right here to this edge of pavement and then float all the way down to that low point there. So again, just as a recap, if you really wanna be efficient with this road grading, what you should do is definitely start with the center line of the road. Once you have that nailed down, you can do a stepped feature line offset to offset both sides at a particular grade. Make sure you add a PVI to each of these lots, and then you can really start grading from there. That's all I have for today, guys. I wanted to show you a follow-up of how you can start grading this road, the edge of pavement, and these different lot grades. Your minimum slopes are going to vary by your jurisdiction, so always make sure to review your different land development codes and your stormwater manuals. If you're interested in land development, check out my land development series here on YouTube. I've walked through some complete projects from, you know, reading geotech reports and surveys all the way to generating a site plan. So if you haven't seen any of those videos, feel free to check them out. Hope you guys have a good day and I will see you in the next video. Peace.
who's got the axe here playlist? I've been waiting way too long to ever say this. Had to ask.